Hi everyone, welcome back to Paul's Stuff. This is my channel where regular visitors will know I talk about everything I love, which is mainly Star Wars, uh, but some other things too from time to time, um, and a lot of lightsaber coverage. Today's no exception. Um, I recently received from my favorite um, lightsaber emporium, Padawan Outpost, this little beauty. This is their EP1. It's uh, LGT's version of Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber uh, from largely I think from Revenge of the Sith. Don't see, think we see it anywhere else too much. Maybe in the in the sequels a little bit towards the end. Um, anyway, don't know much about it. The reason I bought this um, is because I was recently bought um, a photo of the Emperor signed by Ian McDiarmid who'd um, played the Emperor. And I thought it would be really nice to have his lightsaber underneath that. If you check out um, uh, check out the photo uh, for this video, you'll, you'll see a picture of um, this lightsaber underneath the, the signed photo. So this one is more for display than anything else as far as I'm concerned. And because of that, I didn't go for my usual Xenopixel. Uh, version of this saber. This time I went for uh, LGT's RGBX um, electronics in this one, which is a baselet. So um, it's a little bit different from previous sabers. Um, what I want to do here is is go through. I'm not going to go through particularly the functions of the saber. I'll talk to you about them. Um, I'm not so familiar with the functions and I would probably get all tied up and messed around trying to look into those for you. Um, but what I want to talk about is some of the features of the Sabre and particularly this one's very interesting in terms of how you take it apart to charge the battery and things. So I wanted to cover that for you as well. Um, so let's take a look at it. It's this gorgeous chrome silver and gold color um, it is an absolute fingerprint magnet i don't think i have a saber that is worse for collecting fingerprints it's very small it's not really you could get two hands on it but it's really a single-handed lightsaber um, and it comes with a 7 8 inch blade so this is the base slip version. This one came with um, seven eighth inch base slip blade. Um, actually it didn't, <laughs> it came with a one inch blade, but Padawan Outpost was straight on that for me and uh, sent me out the correctly sized blade. So let's, let's start to, to take a look at this a little bit. Um, it is a lovely, lovely thing. The first thing I want to know is um, the blade plug, which actually comes with the saber. So you get this lovely seven eighth inch blade plug with a with a gold end to it. Um, it came with the saber. I presume every saber of this type from Padawan Outpost will come with that. Um, so this is a base lit saber. It's an RGB saber, so it has uh, tri-LEDs inside the emitter. I don't know if you'd be able to see those in there. There are three separate light sources in there, really bright LEDs, which shine a light up the blade and um, ignite the blade. Let's pop a blade in there and we'll turn it on. Um, I'm not sure quite how many sound fonts this comes with. I've only been interested in the Emperor one. Um, so it does, the RGB version, RGBX version does come with an Emperor sound font, which is really good for this particular saber. 
So RGB electronics are slightly different from um, the Xenopixels that I usually get. They're not upgradable. You can't add fonts to them. They are what they are. Um, you use them as they are and, and that's it. So when we turn this on, it will say power on. There we go. And then it's a simple press of the button to ignite the blade. There we go. Now I've got this blade set up with a pulse. You can have pulse, steady and unstable blades. Um, you've got infinite color change on this. Um, you've got blaster block. Although it being RGB, the entire blade goes white. white. Um, you've got lock up. Oh. Not what's going on there. I think we've gone into colour change there. So we've got these colour change ver settings. Get back to a red one. There we go. Um, so yeah, you can change the colour on it. Um, I think if you hold the button and hit it, you're supposed to get lock up on it. But this keeps going into colour change, so I don't know how to operate this so well. So to go back round to red so that I've got it where I want it. So there we go. Um, to turn it on or off does have gesture controls so you can twist it and twist on as well. And I believe there is a stab on as well. Although that doesn't, oh, there we go. Never use that. So, um, yeah, there's all sorts of controls you can you can use with it. Um, there's a whole handy little um, control manual that comes with it. You don't get the little card that you get with some sabers. Uh, Padawan Outposts always put in a complete manual um, to walk you through how to use it. So let's um, have a look at how you uh, take this apart to be able to charge the battery. Um, it doesn't have a charging port to charge the battery, so you do need to, to take it apart in order to do that. You'll, you'll see there are two small screws on the bottom. So we're going to take those out. Hopefully without losing them. There we go. And then all you do, use the blade, push the core through the sabre and pull it out the bottom and there's our core their battery i've got a uh, a battery wrap on there so that it looks a little bit more star wars there is a charging port on here which is this um usb c port so if, if you don't have a separate charger you can charge the um, battery while it's in the core um, but I do have a separate battery charger, so what I'll tend to do with this is to take the battery out and charge it in a separate charger. Uh, but you can charge it without taking it out of the core if you need, if you want to. But you do have to remove it from the rest of the hill. There's a RGBX electronics board. 
the button on this is um, is just here that lines up with the green button on the on the hilt when you push this back in you do have to make sure it, it goes in, in one way okay so you can change the uh, the, dark sword. the fonts on the here by pointing it down and the rotating sword. it. The count. The high ground. Rogelike. Princess. Scavenger. Emperor. So you get all of those sound fonts with it. Um, here's the LEDs at the top, if you can see that. So that's uh, that's the Emperor Emperor's uh, lightsaber from LGT, uh, as sold by Padawan Outpost. And when you put this back together, the shape of the pommel means that you can only put it in in one way, um, and that means then that um, the buttons lined up. Automatically, so there's no worries about putting it back together. Um, then all you do to secure the the pommel is pop the two screws back in. So a little bit more complicated than some sabers um, but actually a really nice system on this one where you can get the whole core out relatively easily and um, yeah so that's uh, the EP1 from Padawan Outpost in RGBX baselet. Lovely lovely saber. So thank you for watching this far. Um, if you've enjoyed the, the content, then please give this video a like uh, and please consider subscribing to the channel. At this point, I think we're, we're getting close. I'm getting close to, to 200 subscribers, so it would be really nice to hit that. Uh, not for any other reason than I'm absolutely amazed that anywhere near 200 people would be interested in listening to me waffle on about this sort of thing. Um, but if you are, then please do subscribe to the channel and... Um, Look forward to seeing you back again soon. Bye-bye.